Howdy y'all. Welcome to Airgun Sunday. We got a new new pellet gun, PCP. Uh, got another loaner for our, the channel. And another one from my good friend Jose. We, uh, we appreciate him loaning us these guns. <clears throat> He's got a couple more too. I think he wants me to do videos on. So, anyway. Diana, Storm Rider. Let's uh, bring you in here close up and take a look at it. All right. All right, according to Diana, it says it's a PCP pellets, bolt action, has a adjustable trigger. I'm not for sure what DIT stands for. Uh, it's got 11 millimeter scope mount rail on it. It has open rear sights that are adjustable. Make sure this is in the screen here. It says max velocity 900. I'm going to read it in in English, I guess, not uh, European or American, and not Europeans. It's 950 feet per second. It says 30 shots per fill. Uh, max fill is 200 bar, which translates to 2,900 psi. Uh, the uh, air tank is 100 cc's magazine holds 7 pellets 19 inch barrel overall length is 39.8 and it weighs 5.1 pounds obviously it has a muzzle brake on it uh, gauge so let's get her open up Let me, uh, well, I'll go ahead and do it right here. So y'all can see what's in the box itself. I mean, he's already had it out shooting it, so. It comes just like that. I'm not for sure if these scope rings came with it or not. Uh has some few parts it looks like and it's got the fill probe and I'll show y'all about that later uh, got one magazine and I'm assuming that the pellets these pellets came with it we're not going to be using those we're going to be using something else but let me get it out of the box and set it up and We'll look at it from there. All right. See, it's got a pretty nice stock on it. I really like it. First thing you notice is it feels a little small, but I kind of think that's what it's intended for. B is a small, lightweight carry. Uh, the air tube on it is technically kind of small to, to most air guns uh, which makes it a little lighter and, and but less shots not too bad though so uh see obviously let's see we got the open sights here we got the muzzle brake suppressor built into it Jose has already purchased a buck rail barrel band. Normally this isn't on there. So, and I'm not gonna mount no scope on it because I don't want to mess it up or anything. Uh, but I will see the 11 millimeter dovetails. Let me spring you in here a little bit closer. So, 
We'll start at the back end and work our way down. We got on the bottom here fully adjustable triggers. Now, for people that don't know, Diana has been making, they've been in business since 1890 in Germany. And they're always well made guns. Any Diana you pick up is usually a well made gun. So, let's get set up. Let's get a magazine loaded. We'll shoot five across the crony at the target and see what we get. All right, we got a magazine loaded up. Now this one has a, a little slot, or I can't think of what you call it right now, but basically that slides into the slot up here. Make sure it's all the way cocked, and it has a little magnet on it that holds it in. All right. We're only, I don't even know if we're 20 yards, but I can't see much further than that for open sights anyway, so. Seven seventy one. I don't see where it hit either, so Oh, it's dropping fast. Seven hundred thirty two. Seven hundred twenty three. Now, I accidentally loaded six, so that was all six of them. Wow. I thought I checked it. Uh, let me, let's fill the gun up and I'll show you how to fill the gun up and then we'll shoot five more across the crony just to make sure. Because it is actually pretty low. And I checked it when he gave it to me and it was full. It may have a leak. Okay, here's the fill probe. And this is the way a lot of your European guns get filled, is like this. Uh, has a standard connecting that most air guns have, or, or fill, fill devices have on it. And I can't remember the name of that connector, but obviously, this is what's on the end of my my tank. So let me just make sure we're in camera here. Basically, going to connect it, kind of like a just a regular air 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 compressor connector, and you insert it in this hole right here. Like I said it's a 2,900 psi fill. And it's small tank, so it won't take much to fill it up. 
I don't have it on camera here, but going off my gauge here. So we just learned a lesson. Check your PSI before you start shooting. Now, this little fill probe thing. Like I said, most, most European guns have this set up. Instead of just having that screwed right into it, all of my air guns, that's all I've got is that. Is this little fill probe. This thing's... I mean, it's only a few dollars for it, but if you lose it, you know, you're screwed until you can get a new one. So you got to hang on to these things. Don't, don't let them go. So, forgot to mention, we're shooting Crossman Premier 14.3s. I did load five this time. Okay, so I checked the target and they're they're all right down at the bottom of the target. I only got like one or two actually that hit the the black circle uh, we're gonna aim at the top of the top of it just to see if we can get them more into the uh, shoot and see target double check our pressure you're right at max fill there even That's more expected, a slight rise. All right. Not a bad little group either. Let me go get the target. All right, there's the first initial six. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's the second group I did. It's not too bad. I was aiming right about there, so it's shooting a little low, a little left, which is fine. <clears throat> I don't know how, Jose, it, how much Jose's shot this thing and got it sighted in, but Let's do some more shooting.
All right, that was uh, not quite three magazines. Uh, obviously, we did the five shots, then I shot two more magazines. We started out at 800, I believe it was, and we're back to eight, 18. So I imagine if I shot two more times, we'd be back at 800 even. So, <clears throat> got a pretty good curve to it. It's not bad, but it's a pretty good curve. I don't know if there's any adjustments on it to adjust velocities or anything like that. Uh, right now I'm seeing uh, three magazines for, per fill. Uh, it's a nice little group here. Like I said, it's only 20 yards or so. <clears throat> but I mean, I'll put all, what is that, 14, 19 shots in a group about like that, it looks like. So, let's fill it up again and just do some plinking for right quick and talk about the gun. All right, let's do a trigger test, trigger pull test. Two pounds, four point nine ounces. Two point nine. So it's almost where that two and a half pounds somewhere in there. It's not bad. Diana's company has always made great uh, air guns. Their brake barrels has been on top of the line stuff for years and years. Uh, Diana and I want to say RWS, they're kind of the same. So if you've heard of those, that's, that's what it is. Uh, this rifle. It almost seems compact. Trigger pull, or the pull length, is roughly a, a good adult size. I mean, a youth could shoot it too. But being that this is so small on this end of it, be good for a for a youth gun. There's a don't know much about it as far as mods or anything like that and not a whole lot to do to it really I mean it's well, what it's designed to do it's doing it so it's uh we got some spinners down there Hitting that pretty hard. That was the big one. Let's see if I can shoot the little one. I got it. Oh, that was the middle one, not the little one. I very seriously doubt I can see the shoot the little one. I can barely even see it. Sight covers it up. I didn't think so. I really like the gun. Uh, I'm not sure of the price on it. I want to say it's in the $200 range. It's a typical German machining. Everything's well made. Cross bolt safety. Uh, we'll get that other target after I shot it some more and, and look at some numbers too okay uh, our 18 shots that we ran across it let's see that was right well that's what we got 
we got recorded 18 shots uh, we started at 800 and we ended at 818 you see our high was 870 at shot 10 We can read them off 800, 823, 832, 840, 855, 860, 860, 860, 860, 860, 860, 860, 860, 860, at 870 was 24 foot pounds so we started out with 20.3 and we had a max of 24.03 on the foot pounds running the uh, Crossman Premier's 14.3 grains now I know the box said I think it said 950 you got to realize that they have to sell stuff too so the numbers they put on there is going to be a really really light pellet a lot of times I use those uh, lead free pellets to get those kind of velocities where the grain uh, grains on the pellet are pretty light so but anyway here's those uh, 18 shots right there. Let's tell you that 20 yards. Not bad. Well, unless Jose didn't bring it to me, I didn't look. I didn't look online before I started, but it only came with one magazine. That's a downfall, obviously. Need to come with at least two. I know that you can more than likely go online and buy more. It ought to at least come for t with two. I mean, the uh, same complaint comes when you when you buy a firearm. Does it come with one magazine or does it come with two? Everybody complains, you know. It only comes with one magazine, so you end up having to go buy some more. You know. Got a nice rubber butt stock on it. Nice little cheek weld on it. I don't know if we can pick that up. Nice gauge on it. It's a smaller gauge, but it, it works. Here's the uh, buck rail barrel band. Normally it's free floating other than this barrel band. Uh, buck rail has the picatinny on it so you can mount a bipod or whatever you want to mount on it there's a nice suppressor that's on it so anyway I want to thank Jose for loaning us the gun to shoot again and hope y'all enjoyed watching this thanks for watching